Now, he's not in the same stratosphere as me. The man looks disgraceful up here. He looks frail. My record in mixed martial arts competition is 19 wins and one loss. I only count knockouts. Oh, he's got a guillotine here! I'm gonna get his ass whooped and took out on a stretcher. A Come on, what's second? Gonna, will be the come day. On, what you gonna do better than me? Everything. You gonna, you gonna out wrestle me? Everything. If we get in the octagon and I can throw no punches, Everything. no knees, no takedowns, no submission, I would kick your ass and just wrestle flat out. When it come down to striking, I would knock you out flat out. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. When it come Word. down to grappling, I would break your arm flat out. There's bring nothing that, you can bring beat that energy. Me in. I'm March faster second, bring than that you, energy. I'm stronger than you, and I promise you, if you come at less than hundred percent, March second, bring that energy. You would think about you would reconsider fighting every day in your life. Hey. Oh, what you gonna do better than me? Do you know what's interesting about this? A lot of people, they would need to dissect some of the words that you said over the years, is you've always had a mad respect for wrestlers. And then uh, and some of your critics would say the worst case scenario for Till is if he fights a wrestler. But you've, you've now actively gone after a wrestler. How, how can it be? Nobody has ever been able to take me down and keep me down. They cannot do it. It's simply, they simply don't do it. In the fifth round against Robert Whittaker, he took me down two or three times and I bounced back up on a torn MCL. Wrestlers do not phase me. Is Brunson the guy who's going to give you that canvas in which to put on this clinic? I hope so. I, I, I know for a fact I'm going in there and there's no two ways about it. I will be beating Brunson. Like he knows that as well. I think he knows deep down. I think he's scared of me. You can still get it, but this doesn't look good. So, I mean, you're a smart guy. Him coming in. Let's just assume that, that you are correct in, in your assumption of that he, he does believe that he can't wrestle with you. Yeah. What is his game plan going to be? What are you expecting him to do? His game plan is jab, stay away, and try to land a big uppercut or knee. I'm sure that's his game plan. That's, but that's everyone's game plan, right? And, you know, I think the thing with – the thing that has to make most of the division even more nervous again, is against Robbie is what you saw is I can take a big shot. It's not really a big deal. I'm just going to keep coming forward, and I'm, and I'm going to get you, and I'm going to take you down, and then I'm going to do what I want to you. And so, you know, if that's George's game plan, which I'm sure it is, it's, you know, now it's got to look like even, an even less viable game plan than it did previously. And, and on top of that, you know, Robbie's a power puncher. Robbie hits really hard. George is more of a volume striker. And has he had a few knockouts in his career? Sure, he has, right? But when you look at his career, um, he's more of a volume striker. He's got a lot of decisions on his record. Um, and so, you know, if you're thinking, hey, he's going to put me down with one shot, I think that's probably unlikely. I, I just see us in complete different levels, you know. I man, it, it's like disrespectful to, to bring that guy in the striking aspect. I fought animals like Eve Edwards, KJ Nunes. This was like over ten years ago. Guys that made a living off striking and knocking people the hell out. U Usman will never get there. Usman's never been there, and I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the first fight, but just at a much more violent pace. We we can't stand together, and he knows it, you know. Panic wrestler. That's who I fight every time. And if they're not a pan if they're not a wrestler, or if they're not a panic wrestler, they will become a panic wrestler. And that's as simple as that. So they the game all, plan. They all are the same. We so go in, we exchange. They panic. When a human panics, their first thing think is to grab, whether they train that way or not. When they get hit by me, they 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 look to grab. They don't want it no more. So. And Connor. Do you think that you and Israel Adesanya will sort of be another war, another massive war in your career? No, there won't be a war. No, what? not with me and him. It's it's got it's going to be short and sweet, brother. Trust me. <laughs> you think it'll it'll be a little bit more one sided? Uh, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. In terms of his skill set, what have you got to be wary of? Um. He's got a few weapons, very limited, not like me. I've got a whole a whole range of weapons, but the few weapons he has, he uses them very well. Um, I can't remember the last time I saw him throw a kick. <laughs> oh, he goes high. Look at that. Oh. I hit this mode called God Mode where I just feel like he's, this guy can't touch me. It's like, a, like I unlock the cheat code in the game, and you just hit God Mode, and it's like, yeah, I've got this guy by the bag, and I just, I just toy with him. 
Unstoppable is the word I keep saying for this for this fight because I the training I did, like the sacrifices I made going into this fight with um, Christmas, New Year's, I didn't go see my family. I want to bring this belt back to New Zealand. So, yeah, I, I'm going to hit God mode in this fight. And still, glory middleweight champion of the world! She's the type of fighter that you have to be very, very patient with. I feel like she's going to try and, like, keep distance and keep far away from me and get me frustrated and to yeah. a point I'll make a mistake and she can try and kick me in the head, but it's not going to go like that. Uh, I'm just excited um, for this fight in general. I want to thank uh, Triller. I want to thank Brett Kavanaugh for giving this opportunity. Um, you're going to get a fight. I'm going to fight. I'm not fighting in a 30 octagon, 30 foot octagon. I'm fighting in a squared circle. This is going to fight. I use two fists, try to punch through Anderson's face. Anderson's going to do his little magic Wong Chung Bruce Lee bullshit. I'm, I'm going to come in to fight. Two minutes because of this right oh, 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 oh. Every fighter has their tendencies, and I've, I've been able to pick out some pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good tendencies that he has that I, I will exploit against him. And, and uh, my, my camp is just pretty solid, man. Greg Jackson is a very, very smart trainer. Uh, I have really good people in my corner in my life that's going to help me get through this amazing challenge. So uh, I can't actually go over what his weaknesses are, but we have found many tendencies in his game. He knows, he, I, I, do, I have tendencies, and I, I know what he's talking about because they're glaring. You know what, check this out. If you, t <laughs> if you tell me what I'm talking about, I'll tell you the truth. I know no, if, if that's what I'm talking about. That is about. a trick. That is a trick because what if I say some other shit? But <laughs> that is a trick because I may say something else, but I know that there's one thing that I do that, um, that has gotten me in trouble, if you want to call it trouble, that I've been in a fight before, and I haven't been in much trouble, so... In the instance that I did get maybe a cut or something, I know it was because of that tendency he's talking about. You're talking about the Josh Burnett fight, but... No. <laughs> so maybe we are on the same that, wavelength. Oh, that okay. will be figured out by September 27th. Okay. So don't think you're going to kick me in the head with your left leg. A hard time reaching John. Oh, John landed a high kick. I didn't, no, uh, I didn't hear what the guy said. You're welcome, James. Welcome to the big show. You uh, get to fight the main event. You made it, buddy. Yeah, thank you, man. This is your last main event. You're about to be uh, on a three-fight losing streak and, and shipping your ass back to the B League to fight tomato cans again. And I'll still have more money in my bank account. I got more well, money than you right now, bro. I, I fought four times in the last year, and I won my fights. You, you lost two out of three. You fucking suck, dude. I've you're made more money in bonuses. You're a, you're a can you crusher. Your you're a can career. crusher, bro. You padded your record against B-level competition. I made two hundred thousand dollars in bonuses. You, you've been fucking. Congratulations. You haven't made that in your ten fights. Congratulations. Don't break your hand patting yourself on the ass, bro. Are you gonna run like a bitch the whole time, or are you gonna stand there and fight me for these people? Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not the Homer Simpson of, bar, of MMA like you are, bro. I'm not going to take a beating, but you will get knocked the fuck out. You take, you take 10 significant strikes per minute. That's 50 shots a round. That you're, you, ain't lasting, you ain't lasting three rounds of me <laughs> taking all that beating like that. You're so 29 years yes old and you're, not. you're 29 years old and you're punch drunk and, and, and slurring when you talk, bro. So um, I yeah, you're getting knocked out. No, I'm not going to stand like a retard and, 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 fight, and fight the so way you're going to run like a bitch. But you are going to get know. slept. You're going to get knocked out within three rounds for sure. He has, you know, you talk about his, his entries into, into the exchanges, but really he has only been semi-successful against really, really low par stand, uh, grapplers on the feet. Other than that, he has looked very, very, very basic. He backs up. He, he, he is a novice in my eyes. I, I look at him as a novice. He, he throws an overhand right. He looks at the floor, closes his eyes, and hopes for the best. This is, this is day one beginner stuff where I come from. So he will find out the range and the difference um, in skill level when, when, we, when we face and when we collide. I've seen Anderson Silva beat some very tough guys. On the flip side of that, the guys that beat Anderson Silva haven't exactly been the best. They've been the guys that refuse to play into his game plan. Then they're with me and I knock him out. He may, he may want to go back to Japan or somewhere where the competition's a little easier. My instinct is that in the midst of me getting on the inside, getting through his punches, looking to take him down, he's going to leave his chin hanging out there and uh, I'm going to break his jaw. <laughs> I would never let a white boy beat me. I'll never let a white boy beat me. Two possible opponents. Oh, oh big oh, right hand. He's out. 
Oh, out three. Oh, oh, my gosh. That's Joe crazy. Smith, yeah, that's who crazy. Dan Rayfield suggested as an opponent, Five, has just knocked six, Bernard Hopkins out of the seven, ring. Eight, nine, out of the ring. Ten, 11, 